Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for all 12 signs, and this is Who's Coming Towards You in Love. So let's get into this. Starting with Aries. Starting with Aries. Guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you're in, it will be in the description box below the video. Let's get into this. Aries. Ooh, you got passion and worth the wait. So, Aries, Aries, Aries. This was worth waiting for. This person uh, just definitely chimes your bell for sure. You waited. You waited for this relationship. Ooh, you're celebrating your happiness in new beginning and love. I feel like this is, this is a, like an opportunity. Mm. I feel like it's an opportunity for you to release your burdens. You have a new beginning in love that this with somebody that you've been patient, you've been patiently waiting for. I feel like you've met somebody and this person just rocks your world. Tell me about Taurus in love. What's happening? Taurus. Heart to heart talk worth the wait. Okay. So you too got worth the wait, but maybe this is even waiting for some deep communication with somebody. You've been waiting for a deep communication with somebody and it was worth your time and energy. Divine timings at play. There's equal give and take here. You both have strong emotions about healing a situation. You're looking back at past mistakes. You were at a crossroads. I feel like, but you really want to be with this person. So I feel like for you, the two of you, you got two of cups under the bottom of the deck. Um, if you were resisting your partner, this is like, this is a kiss and make up. This is something that needs to be said. The two of you are just going to sit down and hash it out. And it was worth it. Okay. It was worth the wait. It gave you time to think, I feel like. Give me a Gemini. What's a Gemini? What's coming? Who's coming towards Gemini in love? What's happening? You got wedding and trust. It involves a wedding. So whether or not it involves your wedding, you could be at a wedding. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, something may happen at a wedding. Tell me about Gemini. I feel like you're communicating to a family. Uh, it's like a family situation. It's a family gathering. Okay. Um, somebody's unhappy. You may be dealing with somebody, Gemini, you may be dealing with somebody and I feel like you could be brothers, cousins. There's three masculines here. There's the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. You're the only one that's not showing. You're the, you're, you may be the one getting married here. Somebody's not happy with your partner. Somebody is, I feel like you have, <laughs> there's, there's family around that does not like this partner. It has to do with a the wedding. They're, uh, they're unhappy about this partnership. They're unhappy with the partnership, okay? This person, they don't like who you're, you're marrying or, and I feel like you may be mastering your emotions when it comes to love because, uh, you have, a, it could be a father and a brother. It could be an uncle and a, a father. It could be, uh, a feminine energy. They want you to end it. 
They don't want you to go through with this. So it's like the situation, have faith. So I feel like whatever, whatever you have to deal with, somebody here is finding out that their family doesn't like their partner. Okay, tell me about cancer. Who's coming towards cancer in love? It's pretty bad when you're in love with somebody and other people don't like the person, but, you know, you have to hear everybody out, I guess. Tell me about cancer. You got wedding and unrequited love. Ooh. Cancer. Why do I feel like this could be somebody who is, what is that when they arrange the marriage? There's this an arranged marriage here. There's somebody, Cancer, there's an arranged marriage here and you're not in love with this person. You're back and forth, wanting to cut somebody off. You're looking at past mistakes. Uh, cancer, you could be a masculine energy wanting to heal. You want to heal. I, I feel like you're, you're ending something. Okay. This could be the person you're going to marry could be a queen of pen. I feel like well, it's kind of blurry. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like, I feel like you want to end this and block somebody. You see things from a different perspective about this person. I, I feel like what this is, it could be an arranged marriage. You want to cut somebody off. You're back and forth. You want to cut somebody off. You're looking at, you're looking at the seeds that were planted or a past mistake. I feel like you're mastering your emotions here. You want to recover. You want to heal. It's almost like. It's like you can't go through with this. You're not, you're not willing to go through with this because it could be an arranged marriage and you're just like, I'm, I'm not interested in this. I'm not interested in this one. Tell me about Leo, who's coming towards Leo in love. Okay, you got finances and career. And you got make the effort, make the effort when it comes to your finances and your career. So you're not really looking for love as much as you're looking to like take care of business right now. You're ready to take care of business. You're trapped in your head. Um, so there, there's some kind of deception here. Someone's wish fulfillment is for somebody to be trapped in their head um, about some kind of a burden. You're trying to close out the cycle. You, okay. <laughs> You're under the bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. Okay, so Leo. Leo, are you just, you're tired of deception in a relationship? You feel like there's a burden here. You want to release yourself. You're communicating about the relationship that you're brokenhearted about a commitment. So you're working on you. You're making the effort to work on your, your career and finance. You're not making an effort to work on a relationship. You're, this is basically what it's just saying. You are not interested in dealing with somebody's deception or anything. You're heartbroken over a relationship and you're burying your nose in your business. Tell me about Virgo. Who's coming towards Virgo in love? You got a heart to heart talk and you've got reckoning. So I feel like you and your partner are hashing it out. Tell me about Virgo.
So there was a, there was a, um, there's a closing out of a cycle here. There was burden and betrayal. You got a closing out of a cycle in two tens. So this is something that ended, right? But your wish fulfillment, you're back and forth about what you want. You want to come out of the cold where your partner is concerned. You've been doing a lot of soul searching. I, I feel like you don't want this person to be single. You're ready to be rebuild instead of be single. This is you deciding to make the effort to work on a relationship. That this is like overcoming whatever has happened. Trying to fix it. Tell me about Libra. Got reconciliation and attraction. Someone from your past is returning to your life. There's a lot of romantic attraction here. We got the two of swords. Someone may have cut out a commitment. This is a past. So because, okay, somebody come out, cut out a commitment because somebody was in and out. They were they may be acting like a player. They held back and moved on. They needed strength here to wait for this King of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. There's opportunity for a new passionate beginning. Don't miss that opportunity to take that leap of faith towards your happiness. Um, I feel like you, somebody needed the strength for wait for somebody. Um, so someone left a relationship because somebody was in and out, but then they're still waiting for this person to come back. It's like you pushed them away and then you, you, you're pulling them back. But I, I do see that there's an opportunity for you to have a new passionate beginning and take that leap towards your happiness. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Got wedding and you got finance and career. Okay. So if you're getting married, maybe it's taking a toll on your finances. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. Yeah, it's causing you a tower taking that leap towards a relationship. You're being very strategic here about in divine timing, you're back and forth. Okay. Scorpio, I feel like in your attitude is, is this is causing you a tower moment, taking a leap to, to get married to somebody. I feel like what the problem is for you isn't necessarily the finances, even though this is, uh, it could be costly. I feel like is you're going to leave anybody that tries to cause drama out in the cold. This is like, okay, because you definitely, there was an offer, right? You're, you're, this is your, you know, you're being engaged here, right? Somebody may be engaged and they're going to leave out in the cold, anybody causing drama. So it's more about for you, you know, do you elope or the cost of the, the, uh, the wedding it may be a concern for somebody. They may decide to elope because they don't want to affect the, but it's almost like letting go of all the drama too, because for some reason, weddings can bring a lot of drama. They can bring out the worst in people sometimes. Tell me about Sagittarius. 
Who's coming towards Sagittarius in love? Okay, I'm going to reshuffle that one because we're getting this over and over. It's like, even though I'm shuffling the cards, it's happening. You got playfulness and release your ex. Maybe that you have somebody that has sparked something in you right now, but you've got to let go of a past person in order to have that playfulness with somebody else. You're heartbroken. I feel like you're heartbroken and you're manifesting blocking something from the past. You are back and forth about this. You're rushing out. Okay. So, Sagittarius, I feel like for you, you got to release your ex. You're manifesting, there's heartbreak here, and you're manifesting blocking a past mistake or a past person. You're at a, you're, you're back and forth. It's almost like you know that this person's rushing in to see you. They're rushing in to see you. They're trying to play mind games and manipulate you and you're trapped in your head. You know you need to end this. You're using your intuition because I feel like for you, your judgment is that you want to be with somebody else. You want to be with your emperor. That's this person that's got the playfulness. This is a karmic. You're releasing a karmic to go towards your emperor, Sagittarius. You know what you need to do. You know somebody comes by just to, just to mess with you. They're just to mess with you. Um, somebody, this also could be somebody who's playing mind games. Could be, it also could be the ex coming back around and trying to play games with you, right? Um, and you're trying to release this so you can be with somebody else. Tell me about Capricorn. Free yourself and new love. Capricorn, you got to let go of somebody to open the door for somebody else. Tell me about Capricorn, please. You want justice with the Queen of Swords, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's your wish fulfillment. But the harsh truth is you have a partner. You do have a partner. Wow. You, it's almost like you want a victory here. Is it your wish is to be single? King of Cups, you're mastering your emotions. I, you're going about it the wrong way, Capricorn. I know you want you want justice with somebody. You want to be with somebody, but the harsh truth is you're you're in a partnership. But you being wanting you wanting your wish to be single. You're betraying the relationship for a new beginning. You know, why don't you just break up with her person instead of betraying them beforehand? That it doesn't, this person is literally 
you know, they, they would rather be single. So they're acting like they are. And so that's the, the you know, maybe that's their way out. I, that could be their way out just to cheat and be done with it. Tell me about Aquarius. You got passion and very soon, Aquarius. Passion and very soon. I feel like Aquarius that you you have a family situation you're mastering your emotions there is there is a heartfelt communication about the commitment but I feel like there is somebody unless you're dating or married to a queen of wands Aries Leo Sag there's something hidden that you need to see from a different perspective. It's being illuminated to you. Just be patient. You could be mastering your emotions about a family situation. You know, this passion very soon. Um, it could be maybe you're committing to somebody here. But there's something hidden here that you need to see from a different perspective, though. So even though you may be caught up in the moment and getting committed to somebody, it, there's still things that you need to see that you're not seeing. Maybe you're blinded by the passion here. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, please. Getting to know each other and engagement. Okay. Tell me about Pisces. You may be somebody who is getting you. No, in other words, I can't even talk. Okay. So. You're the type of person, Pisces, that maybe likes to, um, or you date with purpose, right? This is purpose of it going somewhere, right? So you want a victory here, but you're very guarded about deception and betrayal. So you're, you want to get to know somebody, right? You're having a new passionate beginning here. You're just worried about there being, there being um, somebody who cheats and lies and that kind of thing. You know, it, it would cause a tower for you because, you know, arguing about this, it, it doesn't work for you. You don't want to deal with somebody. You're trying to get to know somebody and you don't, you don't want to deal with anybody's nonsense. You know, you're very guarded about them having nonsense. You want this. You do want to be this. You want to move forward. You want to move away from the burden. You want a partner here. You don't want to deal with drama right? The harsh truth is you don't want to deal with drama. You just, you're looking for a partner. You're looking for a life partner. You're not looking for the drama. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you stay blessed.